Well, thank you for that beautiful, profound ceremony to begin our journey of day two of the Shift Music Festival. And I'm not the official MC for today. Rachel's going to be guiding you through today, but I wanted to take a, just a moment to introduce our next speaker. His name is David Gershon, and he is one of the wisest, most visionary change agents in our world. I really feel like he's unlocking key codes to how do we take on climate change in a way that transforms human civilization. He's developed something called the Cool Cities Challenge. It's been templated in Los Angeles and Palo Alto. There's a competition that's been underway this year for the first three cities to go after net zero carbon neutrality by 2030 and then the next waves to come after that. This program is revolutionary and evolutionary and it really works within the systems and outside the systems, weaving grassroots together with major change makers and policy makers. And so just get behind David because he is going to help lead us out of some of these dire crises. So David Gershon, take it away. So welcome everyone, uh, I'm David Gershon, and I wanna talk about something we call the Cool City Challenge, California, which is about empowering cities to become carbon neutral by 2030. It's a climate moonshot scaling strategy and it's an initiative of our Empowerment Institute Center for Reinventing the Planet. So the question is, what is the climate challenge? Scientists tell us, we have about 10 years to achieve rapid carbon reduction to avoid hitting irreversible ecological tipping points that threaten human viability on the earth. So where can we get the most carbon reduction in the shortest period of time? Enter cities. They're the natural focal point because they generate 70% of our carbon emissions and with currently available solutions can become carbon neutral. And citizens are the most natural starting point within cities because they represent 70% of cities emissions and they can mobilize an entire community. So the next natural question is, what solutions can create carbon neutral cities without offsets in 10 years? And there are a set of top down solutions that are policy, technology, and market creation. And they have had success, but they're not sufficient in achieving substantial carbon reductions. And then there are the bottom-up climate solutions, which have also been successful, but are not sufficient to achieve substantial carbon reductions. How do we activate this whole system climate solution that brings together policy, technology, market creation, and behavioral change? The key is us and our behavior. Bottom-up behavioral change activates the whole system. What if by combining top-down and bottom-up climate solutions, we could create carbon neutral cities by 2030? That is a big opportunity and a game changer. And how do we empower citizens to change their behavior? Enter the Cool Block program. Let me first define the term empowerment. Enabling people to envision and create what they want in their lives and their world is the definition. We've been doing this for now 40 years, and we created something called second order change and whole system thinking. And that is a key part of how this is designed. So what is the Cool Block Program? It's a individual called a block leader who organizes five to eight households on their block. They meet nine times over four and a half months and they move through five topics, disaster resilience, carbon reduction, water stewardship, neighborhood livability, and empowering others. There's 125 action recipes. Actually, it's 120 action recipes, a peer support system. There's self-directed meeting guides, a volunteer coach, a mobile web platform and integration of local resources. That's how this thing actually works that enables the behavioral change. And, and the key is how do you get people to actually join and participate? And there are three key criteria that do that. First is the desire that people have for meaning. I wanna create a better world for my children. 
A second is community. I want to know my neighbors. And a third is agency. I want to make a difference. When you bring those together, you start to get a 45% participation rate. That is to say, 45% of the people who have been approached by their neighbor go to an information meeting, end up joining this program. They, on average, are reducing their carbon footprint by 29%. About 2,000 plus participants have engaged so far in the Cool Block Initiative. We've worked on 125 cool blocks, and we've engaged five cities, Palo Alto, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Mountain View, and Isla Vista. But can we really change fast enough to create carbon neutral cities by 2030? That is the big question, which brings us to the science of tipping points, which shows us how to do that. So I wanna to speak to three different types of tipping points. So the first one is called the fusion of innovation which is about how a small change activates a much larger cascading effect. When you have about 15% of a population adopting a new idea, if the innovation is well-developed, you hit a tipping point where it starts diffusing on its own momentum to up to 85%. The second one I wanna to speak to is what's called cyclogenesis, which is the study of hurricanes. And the key idea here is that small vortices combine and expand. And at a certain point in time, they achieve what you might call hurricane strength and impact. So that is very powerful because these small groups of eco, small groups of cool blocks start to evolve into uh, cool neighborhoods and, and beyond and start to have large impact. The third, uh, the third type of Tipping point I want to speak to is what's called punctuate equilibrium, which is an evolutionary process whereby stable systems rapidly change when a extinction level threat is faced. And we are now facing such an extinction level threat. And at that time, what starts to happen is we activate our intelligence, our creativity and our will, and that allows us to really respond at the speed and magnitude of change required. And we need to do this by 3x. That is to say, we need to get to um, a place where we were thinking we need to be in 2050, in 2030. So that's 3x for cities, states, countries. So that's the key idea behind the, uh, the notion of punctuated equilibrium. So could California, which is where we're starting this, lead the way as the first state to scale carbon neutral cities by 2030? I believe it can because the, there's an urgency of multiple climate issues, uh, deeply rooted environmental ethos, political will is available, there are cities committed to carbon neutrality, there's a cap and trade funding and other kinds of resources the state has available to invest, there's the policy, technology and innovation know-how, and it has a very ambitious carbon neutrality goal, carbon neutral California by 2035. So how does Cool Block help California cities become carbon neutral by 30, by 2030? The first is that the block is where it all starts. And we start to build what we call climate action capacity on the block, which then moves to the neighborhood, which then moves to the district, which then moves to the city. And when we get to about 400 cool blocks, we start to have what we call a cool city and the climate action capacity continues to grow to the region, to the state. So it's a very powerful process of watching the scale from the bottom up take place. So how does the actual process of creating a carbon neutral city get built out of that? So there are five different design teams that have to build out this process. The first is the technology design team. The second is the finance design team. The third is the community engagement design team. The fourth is the policy design team. And lastly, the synergy design team. Each starts to work with what we call moonshot thinking to start creating out of the box of ideas. And the synergy team brings them all together. And that starts to unleash the whole system. So what is the scaling mechanism for carbon neutral cities across California and beyond? Well, on June 1st, 2021, we launched this initiative. Uh, to cities across California. And the cities have to have 40,000 people and they had to have their applications done by September 7th. So by the time you watch this, they will have been 
all submitting their applications. They're each going to be awarded a million dollars, the winning cities, and there'll be runner-up cities as well. There's a $100,000 commitment to the three runner-up cities, and they'll help implement cool blocks and be available as runner-ups for the next, um, in case some of these other cities fall short or for the next round. And in mid-October 2021, they will begin this process. And then in phase two, we'll launch that June 1st, 2022, which will be a million dollars to 25 California cities and 25 cities across America, plus the equivalent in our capacity building and technical support. We've developed a $25 million carbon neutral city prize to support the Moonshot Innovation breakthroughs and incentives for achieving carbon neutrality by 2030. And we've raised funds for uh, phases one and two, so that is already secure. Phases three and four move us to 100 cities in 2023 and 100 cities in 2024, 25 more in California, so a total of 53, 75 in America, and 100 worldwide. And each of these 250 cities serve as what we call teaching cities to diffuse this climate moonshot knowledge and experience to 10 more cities, so 2,500 total worldwide. So that's the Cool City Challenge. And what we bring into this ultimately are what we would call the key ingredients for empowerment, the power of a compelling vision, a vision so strong that it pulls people, a carbon neutral city by 2030, uh, the ability to have impact from the bottom up, the ability for my block, my city to influence others. I make a difference. Innovation driven by necessity, which is the second empowerment belief and empowerment component. And that is that when you have an extinction level threat, you have to innovate or else you go extinct. So we have that as a driver. And then you have an idea whose time has come. Carbon neutral cities by 2030 is clearly an idea whose time has come. We are not the only ones thinking this way. There's now an initiative across the uh, European Union called 100 Carbon Neutral Cities. They don't quite have the how figured out yet, but they clearly have the what and the why. So lastly, the catalyst from the bottom up behavioral change. When you engage individuals to change their behavior and you can engage a community of individuals all showing up and you have true bottom up engagement, then you can activate the system because that's always the missing piece. So the ingredients are there. And then we have what we call the moonshot beliefs of which there are four. We call them the four A's. Audacity, the belief in the possible. This is an audacious idea that we can do something that no one has, that's basically speeding up time by, by 30, uh, by three X, so 30 years from where we are now. Um, 30 years from where we are now is 2050, but we need to get to this by 2030. So that is an audacious idea. Abundance, uh, we're not investing $100,000, we're investing a million dollars we're saying something that we don't think most people would ever imagine being possible is possible. This is an abundance of belief in the possibility of humanity, of each of us, of our cities, of California as a starting point. Agency, I am, I can, we are, we can. Building agency at multiple levels from the individual to the block, to the neighborhood, to the city, to a state, ultimately to the world and alchemy, which is where the magic starts to show up, where you start to bring multi-sector teams together across the business sector and the, the public sector and the, and the civic sector, and they all start working together. So that's quite a powerful piece. So ultimately, where is this going? We hope to have by 2030 carbon neutral cities across California, carbon neutral cities across America and the planet, carbon neutral California by 2035, and ultimately a carbon neutral planet by 2050. So let me end with a quote. Again and again in history, some people wake up, they have no ground in the crowd, and they move to broader, deeper laws. They carry strange customs with them and demand room for bold and audacious action. The future speaks ruthlessly through them. They change the world. So it is our time to change the world. Those that are interested can go to coolblock.org and start cool blocks in their community. Uh, those that are thinking that they want to apply as a community uh, for the Cool City Challenge, the phase two part, can go to coolcity.earth 
applications will open June 2022. So with that said, thank you for your attention. I wish you well in your journey as a, as a person on this planet right now who is living in age of climate change. And we all need to come together to make an impact. We are part of the solutions that are out there to do that. So thank you and God bless.